Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about private internet accesses app in detail. This is part of a series where I talk about a VPN application, going through every single kind of feature that I'm looking for and seeing which of these that the VPN has. It's kind of like a critique as well as kind of like a guide or tutorial on how to use a VPN or how to improve it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to check out vpntierlist.com. This is the complete works of my channel, showing every VPN ranked by the review score. You can also check out my favorite product page for my recommended products, or go to home and then click here to check out my VPN Noob to VPN Master Course, where I talk about how the tier list was created, what you need to know about VPN, and how to choose one the best way. Anyways, guys, back to the video. All right, guys, so I did buy a private internet access subscription just so we can make this video. Um, so if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click on the links down in below or on the tier list to help support me to be able to buy VPNs just like this one for these tests. So first off guys, we're going to be talking about the application kill switch. Does private internet access have it? Go ahead and look in privacy. We have a VPN kill switch that prevents leaks by blocking traffic outside the VPN. You could set it between all auto always or off and that's good to see. So this is a network kill switch. We don't see a application kill switch. Sometimes you can see application kill switches with some other VPN providers out there. Unfortunately, you're not seeing that with private internet access, which is a little bit of a bummer, but not a huge deal. So we have no on that. And then we have yes on this. Um, dedicated IP support. Let's go ahead and look for that. I do not believe that private internet access has it. Um, no dedicated IP there and no dedicated IPs here. They do not sell them. So I do not think that supports them. IKV2 support. Let's go ahead and check on that one. We can look at the, um, this is the customization of encryption. Um, we have connection type and we do have WireGuard, but we have no IKV2. So that is going to be no. Um, WireGuard support, yes, and that is really cool. That is a new thing added to private internet access, just a preview. I actually really like this implementation showing that it's just a preview and not ready for full release. Very transparent and friendly. I also like the little tool tape they have there. Very nicely done, guys, from private internet access. Private internet access also has Pia Mace. This is a great feature for blocking ads, so we're going to put that as well. Not only that, but uh, private internet access has also stepped it up a bit with a uh, split tunnel feature. So WireGuard, split tunnel um, are both kind of new features to private internet access and it actually is very impressive. I like seeing split tunnel. We see with other VPN applications like ExpressVPN, but ExpressVPN itself is limited in a lot of other ways that private internet access isn't. So IP leak protection, um, well, we haven't done that yet. Let's double check you know most vpns will have ip leak protection as well as web rtc protection kind of built in sometimes it's like a toggleable setting but most of the, sometimes it's not um, i'm just going to go ahead and put that it does have it i actually might remove that as a future kind of thing just because most of them kind of have it built in already we never had ip leaks with private internet access so that'll be kind of the framework going forward and this is only the third video in the series of course I'm going to be making some adjustments of how we do it. I think that's okay. Socks 5 proxy support. I already did see that. So that's kind of cool. You can add that in private internet access. Which one was it on? Let's go ahead and see. It looks like it was here. Proxy. Do shadow socks. And we have socks 5. Nice to see those options. Very easy to use as well. I like that you don't have to enter in the information. But you can enter it in here if you want to. So it's really cool actually they offer the shadow stocks there. I actually like that quite a bit. That will be very good for obfuscation or making VPN harder to um, define or pick up or even block in some cases. So that's really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as well as obfuscation as well as the proxies. Um, so that's cool. Um, another thing I want to talk about is that they do have a light and dark mode theme which is really nice. So let's go ahead and set that back to dark mode. So I do like to actually when applications provide those settings. So we have the obfuscation through the Soxify proxy. Some VPNs do offer a little bit more sometimes with that different options, but I do like that there. We do have the encryption customization. We already saw that where you can customize um, right around here, the data encryption. And that's really nice. And we have a lot of port customization as well. Not as much as with Torgar, but a decent amount. And I do like the data encryption here. You can also customize the handshake as well. More secure and less secure going there. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind. DNS customization is also available um, right here. You could pick any one, customize it, and so forth. And you can even port forward within the application. 
which is really nice for stuff like if you want to torrent um, seed a lot, if you want to distribute files or, you know, torrenting and stuff like that. Now, if you're just downloading torrent content, you don't really need to see that much. You don't really need to port forward. But if you're using um, specific private tracker websites, port forwarding with a VPN is very handy. So we have DNS customization, port customization, um, especially with port forwarding. We have the proxy support. We saw that with Soxify proxy as well. And we do not have script support. Not many VPNs offer script support. Um, TorGuard, I think, is one of the only ones you could do some pretty cool things with it, like customize, you know, the way certain applications are launched when you're launching your VPN. It's very nice, and you can look up tutorials on that. Uh, Private Internet Access doesn't have that. Now, I'm not sure if they have the server favoriting feature. Let's go ahead and check that out. We have the automatic, and we do have server favoriting. So you could hard it or even search it, which is nice. There's no ability to kind of customize the way they present themselves, which is a little bit of a letdown. I would like to see that in the future, adding more customization with how you view the servers. So TorGuard has a nice way to do that and some other VPNs as well. So we do have server favoriting, but we do not have that much um, server performance and latency presentation. Um, actually, we do have latency presentation. As you can see the latency here, so you can see which servers would be more ideal for you. Um, but we do not have that much uh, server performance or anything like that, load time or anything like that. I mean, the amount of load. Um, so that's not a big deal, but we do have server performance. So this one will be kind of like, um, let's just put latency presentation. And I meant to say latency presentation, not uh, server performance. And in terms of configuration wall live views, um, I, I already did this. I'm not sure why it's telling me to do this. Maybe it's conflicting with one of my other VPNs. Um, but I am very confident that private internet access lets you do it while live use and switch servers. Um, let's try and fix this issue so we could test that. Okay, guys, something a little bit annoying is that with private internet access, what I had to do is literally uninstall every single other VPN application on my computer, or it wouldn't let me um, get it working. There was some kind of tap driver issue, so I had to uninstall everything, uninstall the tap driver, reinstall it again, and it finally worked. So does private internet access play nice with other VPN providers? Well, no. So just make sure to do that before you're installing it. Not a huge issue, but definitely a problem for me while reviewing it or making this video. Anyways, guys, talking about server or live configuration while doing it, um, like I said, you can do it very easily like that. Well, let's go ahead and talk about some last things with uh, private internet access I want to discuss and uh, what could it do to improve in the future? Well, besides adding stuff like script support, which could be cool, dedicated IP support, Ike V2, or an application kill switch, um, private internet access is actually pretty good. It could add some things though. Um, we do see Fire Stick support and good mobile support on other devices, which is really nice. So those applications are also quite solid. Um, however, in the future, I would like to see a better login system. Perhaps copy something like ExpressVPN or Molvad, where you could just copy a code and log in. I think that's the most intuitive and easy way to do it. And usually when VPN providers have this kind of methodology of logging into the application, I usually recommend them to provide either option of logging in with password or just copying a code. I just like copying a code easier than going back and forth and copying the password and username and so on. That's just my opinion. I do like, however, that private internet access has put some thought into things. I've recently redesigned the application. It looks really nice. It functions well. It has a light and dark mode, which is really nice. Not only that, but they got WireGuard support very early, and it will probably be pretty good later on. Overall, guys, private internet access is pretty close to being the perfect application. Up there among the greats like TorGuard VPN, this one even has some stuff that TorGuard doesn't have yet, although it's lacking a little bit of other things. Um, most noticeably, uh, application kill switch and a dedicated IP support. It doesn't have IV2 support either, but it does have some interesting cool things like split tunneling, wire guard. Of course, it has that ad blocking, has lots of cool things like the Soxify proxy support, shadow shocks. And of course, we have a little bit more intuitive feel with the live configuration. You can switch servers very easily, server favoriting, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, this was just my opinion on private internet access. They actually have a very good application, one of the best out there, as you've seen in this objective non-biased review. If you want to check out private internet access, go ahead and click on the link down in the description down below and buy it, and it'll help support the channel. I also might do some more videos about private internet access now that I have a live subscription, doing some more speed tests and some more other tests just to kind of make some more content for the channel. If you want to check out the full private internet access review, go ahead and check out that as well. I check out every single category in one video, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Oh!